Hello everyone, welcome back. In this short video, we will go through the overview of this course. That is, what are the things we are going to cover in this course. Well, so we will start with the introduction part. So introduction will be basically uh, the things which is like important to understand the concept of database management system. That is the mostly the definition part. So we will start with introduction. After finishing this introduction, we will move forward to ER modeling. So ER modeling is basically once we gather the requirement from the user or once we are uh, uh, we are clear with the universe of discourse that is what are the requirements around which we have to build the database management system then we first plot these requirements on paper so that is done with the help of ER modeling right so that we will be covering in this section ER modeling and then we will move forward for rela relational database model so we have various models of database and we will cover the basics of relational database model which is basically the intention of this course afterwards we will basically design database that is what will be our tables what will be various relationship among the tables what will be our candidate key all those things so these things we will be covering in inside the database design we will also consider that what should be the normal form that is what is the maximum redundancy which we can tolerate okay so all these things we will be covering in database design and afterward we will till now till this portion we have designed our database now we have to store information into database and we have to retrieve it right for our use so that is done with the help of sql structured query language so that we will understand here in sql section fine now in next section we will learn transaction management so what is transaction transaction is a single unit of logical work which contains multiple small operations so transaction a transaction will have multiple operation maybe read write read sequence of multiple operations and any transaction is supposed to be completed in its entirety what i mean to say here is a transaction should complete entirely or it should not happen at all i mean no operation of the transaction should be executed under this section we will learn what are the properties of transaction how basically we can if we have uh, multiple transactions then how we can schedule these transactions with the correctness right so these things we will be learning under transaction management section now concurrency control so in this section basically what we do is concurrency means parallel access right so if this is our database and if we have multiple access okay multiple user or multiple system are being uh, are accessing our database concurrently then in that case how we can maintain the correctness so all these things we will be studying in this concurrency control and we will also study various protocols which are being used to ensure concurrency now finally we will study file structure and indexing so what you basically see as a database that is table and with rows and column so this is a this is a logical representation right it's not how it actually being stored so it's the database is again stored as a file okay so this we will understand here that how uh, these database uh, I mean our database is being stored and under indexing section we will study how we can make our access fast okay so how we can access our database fast and retrieve the result as soon as possible so all these things we will be studying under this file structure and indexing section fine so here during this course we will also go through or we will have various quiz so the first quiz will be after finishing this year model here so it will contain the questions from introduction and year modeling okay so this this quizzes are very important to understand that how good you are learning so i assume that all of you will be seriously attempting this quiz okay so the next quiz we will have here so this is after database finishing after database design one quiz will be uh, 
completely dedicated for this SQL section and finally we will have a quiz here which will contain all these three chapters and we will have one one full length quiz fine okay so we'll have four chapter wise quiz and one full length quiz so i hope you will be enjoying this whole course and one thing i would like to assure you that if you follow this course seriously i can assure that you you are not going to miss any question from database management system so well so hope to see you in the next lecture thanks for watching